Hey everyone, it's Mark Blankenship from TheCriticalCondition.com and it's a little crazy today because for the first time ever we are doing a video version of the Best Picture Expansion Project, which as you may know is the project where we imagine that the newly reinstated Oscar rule of nominating 10 films for Best Picture applied from 1943 to 2008. So today we're going to take a look at 2007. A year when everyone decided that being really depressed was probably the best way to have a good time at the movies. As you may remember, the actual Best Picture nominees for that year were No Country for Old Men, which won, There Will Be Blood, Juno, Atonement, and Michael Clayton. I think now it's time to ask, what would we put in our Best Picture expansion project? And here are my five nominees. First, I would nominate Zodiac. Again, a very depressing, dark film, but it's David Fincher's movie about the Zodiac serial killer in San Francisco. Beautifully directed, really very scary in some scenes, like that one where the guy is walking up the beach and the couple doesn't see him, but we see him and we know that he's gonna kill them. Terrifying. All right, another film I'd nominate would be Grindhouse, the two-act homage to Pulp Fiction of the 70s that was created by Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez. And it kind of got unfairly dissed when it got released because frankly, when you look back at these films, you see that they're both fantastic. Death Proof, which is the Quentin Tarantino segment, follows Kurt Russell as this guy who's killing people with his car. But then all of a sudden, these four hot babes turn the tables on him and they kill him. And it's just fun and sexy and a nicely feminist. And I really enjoyed it a lot. The other half of the film is Robert Rodriguez's Planet Terror which does a really campy take on people trying to just blow the crap out of each other as uh, serial killers and zombies and everything just start raiding the castle. And it's a lot of fun and it's really sexy and again, it's really well made. So both of those films together show that you can elevate pulp entertainment to the level of high art. And I think honestly, that's what Quentin Tarantino has been doing for his whole career. And I think that he deserved another Best Picture nomination for this film. The next film on my expansion pack list is Eastern Promises, which is David Cronenberg's follow-up to A History of Violence, which you might remember I thought also deserved a Best Picture nomination in its year. This movie is really cool, both in the sense of its tone, its, its sort of emotional remove, but also cool in the sense that it's just awesome, because we see Viggo Mortensen weaving his way through the underworld of the Russian Mafia and you learn throughout the course of the film that what it seems like he's doing, uh, which is perpetuating the life of the criminal underground, is actually not what he's doing at all. And what the film becomes is this meditation on how we can inhabit a world and yet be completely opposite to our surroundings, which is really interesting to think about. The next thing that I would nominate actually, keeping it genre, would be The Mist, which is this forgotten movie that was based on a Stephen King short story that is terrifying because it's about all these bugs that climb out of the mist and start to attack this small town. But it also offers a really interesting statement about what happens if our liberal values ultimately do us a disservice? Because what we see in the movie is the people who are really liberal and want to maybe think about what we're going to do, they end up dead. So, you know, thoughtful, scary, thought-provoking. The final thing that I would nominate for Best Picture is Waitress, which is the Adrienne Shelley film about a woman who bakes pies to help her overcome the problems that she's having in her marriage. And that movie was shrouded in tragedy because Adrienne Shelley was actually murdered before the film was able to be released, but that film is so uplifting and so charming and so well-made and well-written that I think a Best Picture nomination would really give it the type of attention that it deserves and would give Adrian Shelley's career a really nice cap. Well, that's it for me, but of course I want to hear from you. I want to know what movies you would add to the roster of Best Picture nominees for 2007. So join me at thecriticalcondition.com and let me hear your voice. And of course, any time of day that you're looking for something fun and sassy to do on the internet, come to thecriticalcondition.com.